Hey y'all. So y'all already know when we sit in the chair. Okay, we sit in the chair, we sit in the area. What time is it? Reaction video. I know my life can get crazy. Just remain solid and know that I got it. Choose around the globe, we can fly, plop it, change the time zone, switching up plot. When the time touch down in the trap, never mind the hate, no, can we pop? However, I'm rolling, I know that you rockin'. I picture with Tina, tell you go shop. She mother company, she a look cocky. I really think that's how she got me. All the way she is, you rockin' with me. Okay, so I about damn near forgot my headphones. I had to get up and go get them bad boys. So, <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Y'all, I'm so mad I left my water in there. So, y'all gonna have to bear with me in this voice because sis just did a what? A what? A motherfucking audiobook. I just I recorded a whole audiobook. Okay, my voice still trying to come back. But if you ain't got said audiobook, what is you doing? I just, I just want to know. I just want to know what you're doing. I just want to know what you're doing, huh? What, what are you, what are you doing? And if, if you look in the description, you'll find a coupon code just specifically for my YouTube subscribers, my YouTube watchers, huh? You'll find a coupon code, huh? You ain't, you, 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 you ain't got no excuse. Go on, listen. I work hard on that. But anyway. Now that we didn't got the promo out the way, um, so <sighs> we finally about to talk about this pastor, Lamar Whitehead. Now y'all know I had been waiting. Damn, my lips dry. I just did not get on here prepared. Y'all know that I've been meaning to do this video for the absolute fucking longest, and I just haven't gotten to it. And I am a little tired, so bear with me. Bear with me, okay? Um, I got a whole, I got a vlog video coming. I don't know if this one gonna come out first or that one, probably this one. So you'll understand why I'm so tired. But I hate black people. <laughs> like I hate humans. I hate humans. Like what? Like nigga, what is you doing? What is? What are you doing? And it's so sad that this is the type of shit that happened. It's so fucking sad. And I cuss, I cuss this. If you don't like that, go ahead and exit now. Just don't, just exit. Um, but I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. So I'm going to play this clip from CBS News or whatever, one of these news stations. And we're going to talk about this. Because I, I got questions, I got opinions, and again, we talking about church. So I know people have opinions when it comes to church and religion and all that, blah, 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 whatever. This is my opinion, form your own. Um, so, because I have an issue, you know what, I'm going to get to that. Never mind. Let me, let me go, let's play this first. Okay, we're going to make sure we're recording. Damn, my voice. Three, two, one, let's go. The Brooklyn pastor who made headlines when he was robbed of expensive jewelry during a live stream church service has been indicted on federal charges. Among the allegations against Lamore Whitehead, that he scammed a parishioner out of $90,000. And to CBS 2's so Christina Fan it. reports, this isn't his first time in trouble with the law. A normally flashy Bishop Lamore Whitehead wait, was silent outside wait. federal court as his attorney. Yo, <laughs> where did he get one of the Kardashian cousins as a lawyer? <laughs> so normally you flashy, right? And if y'all hear background noise, y'all know my neighbors be neighbor and I live in the ghetto. But normally you have all flashy clothes, but since you broke and shit, you came out here with a motherfucking hoodie on and some goddamn, what is them, camo or jeans or sweatpants or whatever the fuck that shit is. Nah, where your flashy gear? Where your flashy suits and your chains and stuff? What happened with those? Where them went to? Huh? What happened? What? But what happened? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. 
attorney denied Come all fraud Kardashian allegations country. against him. The they Brooklyn pastor, known for now. delivering sermons in designer suits and lavish jewels at Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministry. Yes, bro. I'm mad at the name. I'm mad at the church name. Leaders of Tomorrow International. I would much rather have a name. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord I, it's the name of the church for me like it's so many signs that scream this is some bullshit there's no way I would be able to go into that church and take him seriously there's no way I would be able to see that name somewhere and take him seriously or the church seriously like nothing about you says take me seriously dude look what you got on he like a fucking dude. You look like a, a expensive plum. What do you have on? Like, how y'all think he paid for that? Like, I would legitimately walk in and be like, "Nah, he's stealing. He got on. He got on too much shit. He got on too much shit. You don't need all that." I I, I I don't know no pastor of any church that I don't been to that look like that. Why you look like that? I already don't trust it. ...is being accused by federal prosecutors then, wait, of on, obtaining part of his let me, wealth let me, let me go illegally. Back. And if you don't like me talking, you kiss my ass. Uh, that's the point of a reaction video. Okay, we gonna pause him. We, we gonna pause him. Y'all see that? That's the Bible. And I seen this Bible in another uh, video, like one of his actual sermons that I was gonna play, but then I, like, I don't want the devil to, I, I don't want that. I don't want that devilish shit in my house because just listen to him preach just if, uh, uh he on the highway to hell but baby listen now i know some old folks it, me included old folks pastors everything that be having all kind of sticky notes tabs papers everything in their bible but that's just too much and if you can't see it if you look like matter of fact you can easily look because y'all can't see it, but I'm looking at the computer. You know how they had a suggested videos. They have one of him actually preaching and you can see the Bible right there. That look like y'all know them Bibles they give you. Okay, I'm Catholic, so I don't know if this happens anywhere else. But when someone passes in, in Catholicism, they give you a huge Bible. Like, it is literally the size of an encyclopedia. It's huge. I have it over there, but I'm not going to get up. When my godfather died, they gave it to me. And you also get them, um, no, first, first communion, I didn't get one. I got a little Bible and confirmation. Yeah. So, and then sometimes they'll give them to you, like, when you get Christmas and stuff. But this is, now this is in Catholicism. I don't know about everything else. But... That's what his Bible look like, and I feel like you got all them papers and them sticky notes in there just for sure. You ain't reading the Bible. You 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 ain't reading the Bible. You, you can't be. Not doing shit like this. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me finish. Avish Jewels at Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries is being accused by federal prosecutors of obtaining part of his wealth illegally. You think? Bishop Lamora Whitehead is not guilty oh, of these know. charges. We are vigorously her. going to defend these accusations. According to an we unsealed indictment, what? Whitehead what? asked for money. In outfit. Is you serious? Where the fuck you? Who put that on you? Like... Who who dressed you? Did you pick that out? Like did they sell? They gotta be custom made. They can't they can't be selling that nowhere. You know what? They they might they might they might be selling that. But it, it, <laughs> nothing about this outfit tell me I can take you seriously or give you my money. I just, I got questions. Like where you get it from? Like what? I feel like he ordered it off AliExpress. Other Amen. things of value from victims using threats and false promises. Black he allegedly Black convinced Black a parishioner to invest $90,000 of her retirement savings with him, but spent it all on himself. You, he is also accused think? of extorting a businessman. Of First of all, you gave the fact that he called somebody out of $90,000 of their retirement money pisses me the fuck off because I have literally given to places and. Let's just say they didn't do with the money what they're supposed to do with the money. 
that's why I, I give to one church and one church only, and that's a church that I trust, and that is Christians, because I don't I don't trust it. I, I don't trust it because some pastors really do be flashy as hell. So I really don't trust it. So y'all mean to tell me he got ninety thousand dollars? Y'all don't think he spent it on himself based on what he looked like? First of all, you got a small church. You can't be getting that much money in tithes because pastors do get paid, but they don't get paid that much. Look how small your church is. Even with tithes and offering, you your salary ain't that high, bro, because your church ain't that big. I literally just visited a church, uh, did a tour of a church that was actually small. I got like 114 uh, congregants from coming from like a thousand or something. Because ever since COVID, like a lot of people, like, you know, church is not, people don't go to church as much as they used to. But uh, it's me, I'm people. The Lord's still working on me. But y'all really think he wasn't spending that money on himself? Looking like he was looking? $5,000, then convincing the victim to lend him half a million more base. and give him a stake in real estate transactions and return for favors from the city government, which Whitehead knew he could not obtain. The bishop was arrested Monday morning and pleaded not guilty in court before he was released on a half a million dollar bond. Yo. Yo. Whitehead has made news repeatedly this year. First in July, okay. when masked robbers stole an estimated $1 million worth of jewelry from okay, him. Okay, pause. Pause. That's, that's what I want to talk about right there. That and the other situation where he hit the girl. That's that's an inside job. It's, a, it's two scenarios. That's either an inside job for publicity, and he hired them and got that motherfucking uh, money back. Or he's so goddamn flashy that motherfuckers that don't take him seriously in Brooklyn or New York or wherever, New Jersey, wherever he at, fucking robbed his ass. As they should have. That's what the fuck you get. It's called karma, bitch. It's called karma. That's what you get. If it wasn't an inside job, that's what you get. But a part of me feel like that might have been an inside job. Just for publicity, because you got too much going, you 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 got too much going on that, or you just so openly flashy that somebody was like, oh, you got a million dollars worth of jewelry on. Bet say less. We finna run up in that motherfucker, and don't nobody just run up in no church like that, except for Dylan Roof, dumb fucking. Don't even get me started. Don't know Nick. First of all, they niggas, you could tell. <laughs> you you could tell just by that little clip. Don't nobody just walk in and just rob the pastor on site. So either, first of all, they don't take you seriously. They just walked up in this community center or, or room you to rent it out or whatever the case may be and robbed your ass or that was a motherfucking inside job. I don't care. It. I don't care. That's what you get. During a live stream service. You want to come preach? You want to come preach? Look at that Bible. You want to come preach? Come on up here. Then in September, he was briefly detained after clashing with a woman who interrupted him mid service. Baby, you would have had that he is. That's the part that sent me when I seen that video. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Had that man grabbed me like that, I would have beat the suit off him. It wouldn't have been nothing left on that. That suit would have been red, but by the time I was done, baby, you not finna put your hands on me. You not finna grab me in such a motherfucking way. I would have turned around so quick and hit that nigga with the meanest two piece he ever seen in his life. You going to see glory? You going to see God today? Yeah, you going on to glory, pimp? You not finna grab me in the back of my motherfucking head? Cause what? Ooh, ooh, Lord Jesus, I'm getting mad just thinking about it. The nerve of you niggas. But you're supposed to be a man of God. You're supposed to be a pastor. I don't care what she he claimed she was doing because he was like, she walking up on my wife and my kids, blah, blah, blah. It don't matter. She's not even threatening. She ain't giving it no type of threatening vibes. None of that. Even in the interview, she said she wasn't walking up on them. And then we can't see the other part of the camera. So even still, you a man of God, and that's how you acted? And you a pastor? It's so many red flags on this shit.
being targeted. He ain't being targeted. And he he's a being fucking turned thief. from a victim into a villain. The bishop has a criminal history he's and was convicted on 17 she, counts she, of fraud in 2008. The 45 year old is now charged with two counts of wire Ooh, fraud, like one count of jail. extortion, and one count of making material false statements. In Lower Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. If convicted on all counts, Whitehead faces up to 65 years in prison. Ooh, 65 years. Lord, give him every year. Please give him every year. Like, just get that nigga. <sighs> Baby, he gonna, he, he gonna die in jail. If they give him the full 65, which I feel like they are, because them fed toys, I had already spoke, spoke about it in another video that I did. <clears throat> the one we went shopping and with the Shipley's and all that. They he on fed time, baby. The feds don't play. You fuck you fucking with wire fraud. That's why I be trying to tell people. And then that's considered a, a non profit. And you extorting people. Huh? You think they not gonna testify? You think they ain't got proof? Text message or something, because he, he looked like a stupid motherfucker that didn't send that shit via text. He already lied to the police and said he didn't have another cell phone, and they found the other cell phone that he said he didn't have. They got the evidence on it. Baby, you going to just throw the, the case done. I done solved it. <laughs> I've solved the case. The case is solved. That nigga going to jail. Period. Point blank. On mama them. And they going to... Yeah, they, he going to jail. I be trying to watch my comments. He he going he going to jail and hell. He better be glad the Lord forgives. That's all I'ma say. He it's, he gonna find God in that motherfucking prison. It's <laughs> it's still the Bible for me. Like, bruh. It, I don't even feel like it's a Bible. Like I feel like it's like an encyclopedia. Like I. Why your Bible look like that? And I'm telling y'all, coming from somebody who legitimately got so many sticky notes and papers in their Bibles, baby, I done seen old folks with, with, I done seen pastors with Bibles with papers, sticky notes, sermon, just all kind of stuff. But baby, that, that ain't, no, that's too much. That don't even look Bible-ish. It's not giving the word of God. And you not giving the man of God. Because ain't no way God would have created that suit. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's not funny, but the shit funny. What's not funny is the way he he extorted that, that money, though. $90,000 in retirement? That's so fucking sad. That is so fucking sad sad like you should be ashamed of yourself i am so sick of these people stealing money from people whether it's black lives matter whether it's this pastor whether it's another non-profit whether it's another some type of pastor because it's more it's more than just him don't think it, it's just him it's a whole bunch of them out there trust me i know from experience catholicism ain't innocent that's all i'm gonna say but it's a whole yeah he I, I'm trying to can and I just can't. Now, another thing I was going to talk about or react on, not in this video, but another one was the six-year-old that shot the teacher. But I, I don't know. I don't know that because it's sad. It's sad and with me on the, on the road to monetization, I don't want to put that out there like that because I don't know what kind of strikes they would consider that to be depending on what I show, what I say, or what I do. So, instead of that, I'm probably going to speak on guns and gun violence and how I feel about them. I did want to do a video on that. And this was way before I even saw the shooting. I was going to do that anyway because I was watching um, Man Family Dinner, Man's Family Dinner with David and Tamala Mann and their family, and they had a video where they talked about gun violence, and they were talking about guns and protecting yourself, blah, blah, blah all that but that's gonna be a whole nother video so i'm done with this foolery fuckery and this nigga right here this is a full clown i hope he get all 65 years i hope he's guilty on all charges what i hope they don't do is combine his charges into one charge because that is gonna be risky they need to definitely break them charges out which i feel like it's the feds that's what they gonna do 
I don't want them to get overly ambitious. That's how the fuck Casey Anthony got off. It wasn't the feds, but they when you combine charges into one big charge and they get found innocent on that one charge, that's it. That's why you need to have multiple charges because they're going to be guilty on one of them. At least one of them. He gonna be guilty on at least the false statements, false statements at minimum. But he all the way guilty, bro. Like, it's done for. We'll, we'll be back when we find out for real. But until then, thank you for rocking with me again. Don't forget to get that audio book though, One Flesh. Okay, it's going down. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Girl, you gave me your soul. Somebody turns your heart.